here at World Remembrance Day 2015. We're here in memory of his sister, Allison Lau, who was killed by a distracted driver two years ago. It's World Remembrance Day and it just sort of uh, brings to light that crashes is not just an issue in New York, but it's a global issue. We're starting today at City Hall. The mayor is going to be joining us here in a few minutes, and we're going to be walking up to the UN as a way of demonstrating and showing people that we are here, we exist, we want an end to this, and we want people to join us. It's a crash. It's not an accident. The crash because the cars that see the bikes passing and they're still trying to speed up on them. It's like an oversight when they say accident, people think that it's not important. And bicyclists are important, pedestrians are important, and we should protect them. These are crashes, not accidents, that can be prevented, and that until we get to a day when Vision Zero is accomplished, our work is not done. The amount of deaths that take place as a result of crashes on our streets and sidewalks in the city of New York is staggering, absolutely staggering. It's an outrage, and we should be angry. And if we have anything to offer the world as a best practice, I think it's what we're doing here today. It's realizing that Vision Zero only works when citizens become involved, when we support our fellow New Yorkers who have paid unimaginable prices. People here today who have lost sons and daughters, mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters. We know that traffic violence doesn't discriminate it touches every neighborhood, every kind of family. But what those families have in common is their lives were torn apart by a crash that could have been avoided. For years and years, we lost people because we didn't make the changes we had to make as a city. Because we didn't change people's behavior. We didn't change the way they understood their role, particularly as drivers of vehicles. We had to jolt that reality. We had to change it to the core. And Families for Safe Streets are people who have lost a loved one from traffic violence or have themselves been injured severely. I'm someone who was hit. Um, and, uh, a survivor. A survivor. People don't even realize, economically, emotionally, physically. Um, she has treatment three times a week. She can't go back to work two years and nine months now. She's been denied disability. Um, what do we do? We both had an apartment and a lease and a rent. This is my brother Sammy. He was killed on October 8, 2013. And we're here today to remember him and prevent other deaths and injuries like his. More than one million people that they have been killed by crashes throughout the whole world. In New York City, we have made major improvements. However, we need to continue working, redesigning danger intersections that uh, we create a new culture on how New Yorkers share the street. I lost three of my classmates and friends at like different times. Um, and so I ended up creating the Vision Zero Youth Council. So now I'm just here supporting families for safe streets and the families that I know that have lost their children. Listen, my daughters are cyclists. I'm trying to talk my husband into being one. We really need to make sure that the world understands the importance of safe streets for bicyclists and for pedestrians. I'm marching today for my husband, Victor Lukin, who died in 2002 when he was riding his bicycle across 34th Street. He is, would have been a grandfather. He has a grandson who is named after him, who is three months and a half old. The victims of the violence need to be remembered and we need to change the way we conduct business in New York. It's like People are starting to pick up on the fact that uh, using accident uh, implies an inevitability that we shouldn't really apply to these crashes, that we really need to look at them as preventable crashes or collisions. There have been great changes, great strides. Mayor de Blasio has taken on Vision Zero. And the movement, those folks, grassroots activists, who started this many years ago, who initially were thought to be on the fringe of 
society. Uh, uh, those people have driven this movement into the forefront of the political discussion. They have made this the mainstream. Uh, so we now have a city council that is incredibly responsive, but we still need to do more. We walk down these streets, we ride our bikes on these streets, we drive on these streets, and we see the change happening before our eyes. We changed the speed limit in New York City last year. And everyone here knows we've come a long way that there's no willingness among any of us to stop. This is the beginning. I've said over the last year, Vision Zero has just started. We're going to take it a lot farther.